ओके ओके रिकॉर्डिंग स्टार्टेड ओके ओके सो गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम हैंडिंग ओवर द सेशन टू मिस्टर श्री कुटन सो टुडे यू विल कंटिन्यू विद द प्रोडक्ट्स सर या ओके सर ओके थैंक यू सर सो गुड इवनिंग ऑल माय सेल्फ श्री कुटन डीएम फ्रॉम आर एच मडिकेरी so yesterday we have just uh, touched upon the uh, basic principles and uh, the basic policies with regard to retail lending and we touched upon the newly introduced schemes which were uh, uh, which are uh, come into force from this uh, year and uh, those modifications which have been effected from this year onwards and uh, so two schemes uh that is one house home loan plus and canara mortgage we have touched upon so uh today we are continuing with the products so that uh, uh we will complete the major products i am not going deep into all the products because uh, uh the two year i mean this two hour uh, time will not be possible and also some of the products are not that much important when it comes to exams so but uh, some products are really important uh, with in a, with from the perspective of uh, um, exams so that i am going to touch uh, it is not that you need not study those products no you have to have a glance on that you have to have a basic idea about those products also but uh, since the majority of the questions are being now asked from uh, the core products like housing loan vehicle loan and all i am going deep into that one uh, and before we start let's what i uh, in the continuation of what i told yesterday say from examination point of view you need not uh, remember the rate of interest of products like what is the housing loan rate of interest vehicle loan rate of interest those things generally are not asked and also uh, the who is the sanctioning authority for uh, or uh, the uh, rh head is having how much of amount of sanctioning powers those things are generally not asked but uh, there are some uh, uh, delegation of powers that have been asked in the previous questions exams also that i am uh, covering here and uh, another thing thing is uh, you need not uh, by heart the report numbers and uh, you need not uh, by heart this uh, rate of interest chart and all so uh, with that i will start with the today's session okay now coming to when we come across retail lending the the most important uh, product is uh, obviously uh, housing loan loan uh, yesterday we talked about housing loan with regard to some of the policy guidelines of housing loan that the margin requirements of housing loan uh, that uh, we will uh, uh, anyway uh, uh, discuss in this uh, session also and uh, throughout the uh, our discussion i will touch upon the basic scheme guidelines as well as the uh, policy guidelines which uh, drives the housing loan product so now coming to housing loan uh, earlier we had so much of uh, housing loan products like back in uh, 2017 18 and all that is housing loan nra housing loan agriculture housing loan pensioners you have us in all those things but now luckily we are uh, having only very few housing loan because all the guidelines have been codified to yes, one or two products and so it is very easy for us to remember and within the housing loan products there are so many relaxations modifications here and there so it is uh, uh, very easy and very important uh, from an exam point of view so that you can score marks when these questions are asked from the these topics okay so housing loan uh, first of all we will talk about the quantum of loan uh, the basic quantum of loan is for the salaried class it is as you know six times or 72 times of last drawn monthly gross salary and uh, and regular income to be ascertained by verifying previous six month salary slip uh, why it is that, that like for one month if we take the latest salary slip alone uh, whether the consistency is there or not we will not know so that's why we check the last six month statement and if the consistent uh, gross salary is there means we will take the last 
uh, month's growth salary and 73 times of that one is the uh, eligibility of that particular borrower. Now coming to non-salaried class, it is almost the same in terms of quantity. It is six times annual gross income, average of three preceding years annual income. That is financial year immediately presiding the current financial year during which the customer desire, desires to avail loan. So uh, like now if in this financial year, if we are going to give an, a housing loan to a non-salaried class customer, you need to take uh, ITR uh, for the last three years. That is uh, as on March 2024, March 2023 and March 2022. Take the average of that one, uh, multiply it by six. So that is the uh, eligible loan quantum with regard to non-salaried class customer. Now, uh, yesterday when we talked about uh, this one, many uh, 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 people have asked regarding the how to arrive at the gross uh, income in with regard to non-salaried class. So it is like uh, gross income. It is like uh, uh, without considering the taxation. Uh, so it will be uh, the tax. Uh, will be added back. I mean, sorry, tax will be deducted for arriving the net income. So for gross annual income is considered, you can go for uh, without before tax concept because that is the same thing that we are uh, calculating in the case of uh, salaried class because salaried class, you are taking gross income. There we are not reckoning or not taking into account the uh, TDS. Okay. Similarly, uh, for non-salaried class also, you have to create the last three years ITR and uh, take the average and multiply it by six, you will get the eligible loan quota. Now coming to the main uh, eligibility criteria with regard to, so before that I will just say one, uh, say one more thing that for every retail ethic scheme, these three concepts are very important like what is the quantum uh, right, what is the NTH, uh, what is the security percentage? All those things. So uh, our discussion discussion will also be in that line only. That is uh, the minimum percentage, uh, the NTH. What is it now? Since we have come uh, uh, discussed the uh, quantum of loan, the next important uh, criteria or the next important um, product feature is the uh, guideline. Is the minimum uh, percentage of NTH. The NTH is twenty five percentage of gross annual income uh, uh, and or 10,000. That is the minimum NTH percentage. It is uniform across uh, salaried class and non-salaried class. Okay. While calculating 25 percentage, you need to, uh, uh, I mean, then while calculating NTH, you need to take into account all the existing EMI commitments plus the proposed EMI commitment also. Now, before we, uh, coming to uh, quantum of loan, I would like to say one more thing here. Uh, it is that as per the latest guideline, that is, it was introduced in 2022, that uh, while arriving at quantum of loan, you can add back uh, depreciation to the in gross annual income. Uh, but there is a condition in that, that is, while adding back the depreciation, only 20% of what is declared as depreciation can be added back for uh, arriving at the loan quantum. So that particular point you need to remember. So what is the uh, percentage of depreciation that can be added back? So this depreciation concept will come only in the case of non-salaried class, okay? Because uh, salaried class, there is no concept of balance sheet and all. It is purely based on salary slip. So when you uh, consider the uh, loan quantum of non-salaried class, you can add back 20% of uh, the uh, uh, depreciation. Suppose uh, how to uh, see what is the depreciation that they have uh, shown. So you have to go for the audited balance sheet. Then only you will come to know how much of depreciation they have shown. So suppose if their balance sheet shows a depreciation of say uh, 1 lakh, you can add 20,000. That is 20% 20, 20 of that 1 lakh. That is 20,000 to his gross income and uh, you can eligible uh, find the eligibility based on that. So that 20 percentage is the um, uh, important point here with regard to examination. Now, I mean, NTH percentage, I have already uh, told it is 25 percentage uh, or 10,000, whichever is higher. Now, uh, 
there is always a relaxation with regard to quantum of load. That is, we already told it is 72 times and uh, 6 times of gross uh, income uh, in the normal circumstances. Suppose if the customer wants more loan amount, then the respective sanctioning authority can consider uh, 84 times of 84 times in terms of uh, uh, salaried class and seven times in terms of uh, non-salaried class for low and normal risk customers. Okay, but the NTH differs in this case. Instead of uh, ten thousand, the NTH is doubled here. But but there is no per change in percentage. It is the percentage is twenty five percentage or but the amount is 20,000 instead of 10,000. So the uh, question here is for what is the NTH for uh, housing loan whenever the loan quantum is assessed at 84 times or seven times. So the answer will be 25 percentage or 20,000. And this is applicable only in the case of low and normal customer, normal risk customers and not for uh, moderate and uh, high risk customers. Okay, that is the concept here. Now coming to the next thing is the important point of margin. Okay. Now margin. Uh, yesterday we have touched upon the margin thing. That is uh, up to 30 lakhs, it is 10 percentage. Up to 30 to uh, 75 lakhs, it is 20 percentage. Above 75 lakhs, it is 25 percentage. That is the general guideline. But within that also, there is two subconditions. That is, suppose if it is a new or already existing house or flat which is of age up to 10 years then only this particular ma margin is applicable that is up to 10 lakhs 10 percentage above 30 to 75 lakhs 20 percentage and above 75 25 percentage in the case of house or flat which is of more than 10 years of old it is 25 percentage okay so that is the uh, catch here uh margin you need to uh, this this question has been asked so many times in different cadres especially 0 to 1 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 uh, that what is the margin in terms of uh, uh, age of the building so uh, fresh or newly constructed house or a, a house which is already uh, up to 10 years of age the margin is like 10 20 and 25 based on loan amount up to 30 30 to 75 and 75 respectively and in the case of house which is of more than uh, 10 years house or flat which is of more than 10 years old there is a flat margin of 25 percentage you need not see in uh, irrespective of the loan amount the margin is 25 percentage now another question that may be asked here is that in the case of flat which is of more than uh, or house or flat which is of age more than 20 years the inspection is to be carried out by who it is scale 4 and above so if you are financing for an, a house or a flat which is of age more than 20 years, it should be inspected by an officer not less than the scale of scale 4 and above. Okay. In terms of, so now, suppose if you are going to finance for a, uh, a flat or a house which is of more than 40 years, the, uh, uh, the authority who need to inspect is circle head. Okay. So that is one, another question here. So up to, I mean, above 20 years, up to 40 years, it should be scale four and above. And above 40 years of age, the inspection is to be carried out by circle. Okay. Now coming to another uh, important policy guideline with regard to housing loan is that what, see, we all know that uh, uh, housing loan can be considered as normal housing loan or the priority sector, not the priority sector, regular housing loan, if we are if it is his first or second unit from third housing onwards it should be treated as treated as housing loan non priority commercial real estate hl np cre okay or simply we can say, say that hl cre rh that is cre rh cre rh means commercial real estate real estate retail housing there are two categories of uh, commercial real estate product in our bank one is regular commercial real estate and commercial real estate retail housing loan. That is CRE, RH and CRE. What is CRE, RH, CRE? CRE is normally, we say it is of, uh, say, uh, hotels, lodge, uh, 
re, uh, resorts paying us those things are which are not can classified as msme will come as uh, commercial real estate especially uh, that hostel buildings and uh, uh, pg those things uh, will be considered as uh, commercial real estate uh, but in the case of uh, commercial real estate retail housing that is hl cre the concept is little bit different that is if a person owns uh, already two uh, units okay uh, two units of house the third and fourth one uh, will be considered as uh, third onwards that is the third one onwards will be considered as uh, commercial real estate okay now what is the uh, rate of interest applicable uh, for those things okay that is regular rate of over and above the regular rate of interest in if it is his third unit it is 0.25 percentage 0.25 percentage to be added and if it is it, if it is his fourth and subsequent unit 0.50 percentage to be added so the question here is there are two type of questions can be asked here uh, commercial real estate uh, C, uh, hlcra what is the criteria it is third and above units and uh, what is the rate of interest that is additionally chargeable it is for the third unit it is 0.25 and for the fourth unit it is 0.50 now uh, i'll uh, just to discuss upon a practical very practical uh, doubt that you might be, people might be having uh, that how to ascertain whether it is third or fourth already there so suppose many cases uh, it is like uh, we, we are and uh, ascertaining it based on the number of kitchens correct uh, that is if the number of kitchens in a house is two uh, i mean three or four we will uh, tend to uh, realize it as i mean uh, treat it as a commercial real estate but uh, as per rbi guideline there is no concept of like number of kitchens okay it is uh, our number of dwelling unit concept should be based on the uh, door numbers okay suppose if uh, a particular building is having two door numbers it should be treated as two dwelling unit and if it is uh, having even if it is having three kitchens and uh, only one door number we have to treat it as only single dwelling unit because that is the main thing and kitchen is number of kitchens is not at all a eh, an approved or uh, uh, stipulated guideline or a benchmark for ascertaining the number of uh, units of dwelling okay now coming to another question that is uh, see housing loan we have got uh, uh, three types of things that is one housing loan is for ready, uh, construction on already uh, owning on the land second one is outright to purchase uh, third one is this uh, site of purchase of site and then construction of house thereon so these three types of uh, regular housing loan schemes are there so uh, there can be one question from this purchase of site and construction that from uh, when the borrower should start the construction of house after date of first disbursement okay it is 12 months from the date of the first disbursement means suppose we have given a loan for purchase of site and construction and we have done the first disbursement today for site site purchase and he has purchased the land okay then he has to start construction within next year it is like start starting of construction not he has to complete it it is like starting of construction should be done from maximum 12 months from the date of disbursement of the housing loan so that is one important question there uh, uh, what is the maximum period within which he has to start construction in term if the housing loan is sanctioned for purchase of site and construction the answer is 12 from the date of disbursement okay now coming to another important aspect and uh, which has been in force because rera approved things we are, it, it has been very recently come so you can expect questions based on rera registration and all so first important point is uh, rera registration is not applicable in which of the cases of product uh, projects so rera registration is not applicable in case of projects where the plot size uh, is below 500 square meters and not having number more, more than 8 units i can see a question there uh, 
above 40 years we cannot understand okay above 40 years means uh, suppose if you are uh, per, uh, constructing or suppose we are if you are uh, financing for a house which is of age more than 40 years the site inspection or the property inspection has to be done by circle head and if the age of the building uh, to which you are giving housing loan is more than 20 years it has to be uh, 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 property inspection has to be done by scale 4 and above so that was that is what above 40 years concept that i have told sir is number of kitchen linked to with whether it's coming under cr that's what i told number of kitchen is not at all an approved or stipulated guideline for counting the number of dwelling units it's always like uh, what is the how much of uh, what is the assessment number or how many door numbers are there because kitchen is uh, it is like a uh, what uh, practical thing that we are Link, uh, telling the nowhere it is said that uh, kitchen number of kitchens is the criteria for determining uh, number of dwelling units. So it's always uh, desirable or it's always correct if you go for the number of dwelling. Uh, I mean uh, assessment numbers or the door numbers. Okay. So now coming to RARA registration applicability. The RARA registration is not applicable in the case of projects where the plot size is below 500 square meters and not having more than 8 units. So both these conditions have to be satisfied. If the plot size is less than 500 and the number of units in that particular project is uh, more than 8 units, it is like a RARA. Uh, it is that RARA is not applicable in those cases. If a customer is building a three-story house where each story has individual kitchen, like he builds for rental purpose, does it come under CRA? That's what. See, uh, it does not come under uh, CRA unless that uh, three-story is building is having three different door numbers. If there is a three different door numbers, then we have to consider it. Otherwise, it is not a uh, three separate dwelling units. Okay, that's what we we can say. But uh, as a sanctioning authority, you can very well take a decision on that one. Okay, RERA. RERA is a uh, very recently uh, 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 implemented thing with regard to uh, real estate and flat purchase. Uh, that is, RERA has come into uh, uh, existence from 2016 onwards. RERA stands for uh, Real Estate Regulatory Authority. That is, see, you, you might have seen flats and all, no? Villas and all. So it will be, uh, the construction will be undertaken by a builder. Okay. So if that uh, builder has to uh, uh, construct there, they have to take an approval from this regular real estate regulatory authority. So uh, RARA approved projects only. Now, nowadays, bank uh, take. Okay. Because of so many reasons like uh, safety of advance, uh, their uh, timely completion of projects, all those things. So, uh, RERA registration is not applicable in most uh, many cases, may, uh, in cases such as, that is, that's what I have to uh, told. Suppose if the project is coming up in a plot with a size less than 500 square meters, uh, square meters and uh, not having more than 8 units, then in that case, RERA registration is not applicable. We can finance without RERA approval also. So, that's what I told. Now, coming to... Um, uh, uh, financing already uh, existing building. So in the case of already existing building, the residual life of the property must be 10 years more than the repayment end date of the case of financing already built house. I will just tell with an example, then you will be clear about it. Suppose uh, you are uh, financing a house, okay, uh, for purchase of house, and you took the valuation report, and as per the valuation uh, report, uh, it is like uh, uh in the valuation report they will there there is a column called a residual life okay the residual life they will uh, the, the valuer will uh, mention that this particular building is having a residual life of say 20 years okay so 20 years uh, if uh, uh, they have mentioned then the maximum repayment period that you can give is 20 minus 10 that is 10 years only so the always the residual life of the building should be 10 years more than the repayment end date. So if the uh, value li life of the building is residual life of the building is 30 years, you can uh, give maximum repayment tenor of say 20 years. 
if the maximum uh, residual tenure is 15 years you can give a maximum repayment tenure of 5 years so that is the concept i think uh, up to this point everyone is clear now uh, coming to um, another important aspect of housing loan that is suppose if we are uh, uh, purchase i mean financing uh, a ready built house or flat the repayment should, com should commence within uh, two months from the date of first disbursement that is normally we to, uh, give a uh, one year 18 months and 24 months of uh, repayment holiday that is for con completing the construction okay but in the case of ready built house or flat uh, you cannot give that much of repayment holiday you can give maximum of two months of repayment holiday from the date of first disbursement so that is uh, the question here how much of max what is the maximum repayment holiday that you can give in the case of purchase of ready built house or flat that is two months okay now earlier we have uh, uh, told that in the case of uh, purchase of site and construction there on the, they have to start the construction from 12 months from the date of first disbursement now next is what if what uh, what is the condition after completion okay that is now the next question is so in the uh, case of purchase of site and construction of house thereof and or only construction of house in the existing site the repayment should commence from two months from the completion of house just like a ready built house he has to start the repayment within two months after completion of house or 24 months from the date of first disbursement whichever is earlier okay that is the main question here suppose if he is uh, completing the house in uh, next month maximum repayment period that he can get is uh, uh, two months of repayment holiday suppose if he is uh, if he has started construction from now onwards then he has from if he has got 24 months to complete this construction there and within which uh, he has to start the repayment so 24 months is like the holiday period which we can give to the customer for completion of house wherever uh, we have given uh, uh, loan for purchase of site and construction of house thereon okay it is applicable for construction of house alone also okay that is suppose uh, the party is already owning a land in which he is going to construct construct a, a house okay then yeah the, he has to complete the construction within so uh, all together how many months is uh, how, how many months he is getting for uh, uh, completion here it is 24 months he is getting for completion of house now in the case of uh, purchase of flat which is under construction the repayment should start within two months of completion of construction so there is no change in the case of flat which is under construction it is the repayment should start from two months however construction period can go up to 36 months from the date of first disbursement which is earlier okay so construction uh, that's where rara uh, comes into picture okay when before that uh, rara was there there was absolutely no control over this aspect because the builders would would be taking so much of time for completion of uh, projects and all and it would uh, run from four years five years there are projects which have not been completed after six years seven years so uh now the safety of uh, uh, banks with regard to rara approval is that the builders will be promptly con completing the construction so that in the case of flat under construction the maximum time period that is given for them for completion is 36 months from first disbursement okay and in the case of uh, uh, construction uh, of individual house here uh, they are getting 24 months for construction of house and in both cases the repayment holiday or the repayment starts within two months okay you should not uh, confuse between these two months and 24 months two months is for repayment uh, holiday that is uh, repayment should start from which date from the completion of house and 24 and 36 is the construction period okay now comes so we have uh, completed uh, the main part of uh, uh, housing loan uh, that the general housing loan scheme now coming to uh, another popular scheme that is uh, we are all interested like every branch manager will be very happy to give Canada foot year loan because of its simpler terms 
so what, what is canara kuti what are the guidelines okay i will just uh, see uh, the main, main points see margin and all it is applicable same as that of uh, general housing loan because margin does not change with the uh, uh, product to product because here uh, could could you loan the maximum loan is up to 10 lakhs that you all know so up to 10 lakhs uh, the margin is obviously 10 percentage okay so uh, individual household income uh, uh, for in the case of rural urban metro areas and members of uh, self help groups we can finance kenara kudir and the household income should be uh, up to uh, um, uh, 1 lakh per annum or uh, it can go up to 1 lakh to uh, 3 lakh per annum okay so uh, if the annual income is up to 1 lakh we can the grant loan up to 5 lakhs and if the annual income is above 1 lakh to 3 lakh we can finance up to a maximum of 10 10 lakhs so uh, here it is very easy uh, there are two uh, uh, steps or there are two guidelines uh, one is if the annual income is 1 lakh then uh, the maximum loan that we can sanction is 5 lakhs and if the annual income is up to Uh, 3 lakh that is above 1 lakh and 3 lakh the loan amount is 10 lakh so it is the household income and not the uh, individual income okay that you have to see that household income means uh, if there are four members we have to get the income certificate from the tahsildar or village officer whoever is the competent authority and they will be giving the uh, certificate in, in terms of one single person but it they covers it for the entire family okay because it is like uh, uh, who are all included in the ration card okay so it is household income and nth uh, just uh, like it is not like the general housing loan where the nth was 25 percentage and 10000 here it is like uh, 60 percentage of gross annual income okay so here the gross annual income can be 1 lakh or uh, up to 3 lakh so 60 percentage of that should be there for gross annual income so that is kenara kutir and kenara kutir one more important guideline is kenara kutir you cannot uh, give for repairs and renovation it is always for construction of house okay so kenara home loan plus yesterday we had discussed but still i will just touch upon because it is a very small scheme i will just go through it uh, now uh, again uh, the kenara home loan plus is there uh for it is applicable for those customers who have already availed a housing loan with us so uh now uh, with regard to housing loan i will just uh, tell uh, some of the important uh, uh points also that is uh, uh, actually i have not included in the slide the entry age and exit age okay that maximum repayment tenor that we can give is up to 75 uh 75 uh, years of age okay and uh, uh, it is like uh, uh, there are some conditions also there uh, but for the sake of uh, um, confining our discussion within examination point of view i have not uh, touched upon that uh, it is like 75 and within 75 there are um, uh, guidelines for applicability of uh, legal as and all but that that is little bit complicated because asking questions also it is a little bit difficult so i have deliberately excluded but anyhow you have to go through that one uh, if any uh, doubt is there i will i will uh, just clarify at the end of the session but now with regard to housing loan i have touched upon the examination point of view questions mainly here okay now home loan plus the applicability is age between 18 and 75 years uh, and uh, Uh, the next thing is the quantum of loan quantum of loan is 24 times 24 months of growth salary income subject to a maximum of 50 lakh and in the case of non salaried class it is two times of or uh, three years average income in the uh, for non salaried and uh, in any case the maximum loan amount is limited to 50 lakhs okay there is no home loan plus od scheme right now there is only home loan plus uh, term loan so uh the maximum loan amount that can be lent under canara home loan plus is 50 lakhs and the nth it is slightly uh, it is a percentage is same as uh, salaried class for housing loan but in the case of non salaried class 
the there is a slight increase of 5 percentage that is 10 30 percentage is for, for the non salaried class now coming to uh, the frequency of valuation okay now home loan plus uh, when we give for home loan plus the valuation should be that valuation which we have taken at the time of uh, granting the housing loan in the case of outright purchase of property however if the previous valuation has completed two years after ensuring a gap of minimum of two years between two valuation fresh valuation may be taken for determining the loan amount okay but as a general practice uh if the outright purchase is as a permitted in 2023 you cannot go for a fresh valuation in 2024 now because you have to take the valuation at the time of purchase only now but if uh, two years is completed then fresh valuation can be taken and the last one is the most important thing, as I said yesterday, it is a very recent change that has happened that uh, earlier the maximum repayment tenor was 180 months or the residual uh, repayment period existing for, for the existing housing loan. Now it has been re, uh, increased from 360 months, increased to 360 months. But the sanctioning authorities, CGM, HOCFD. Suppose if you are uh, giving a uh, housing loan for outright purchase, and at the same time, you have to give a, uh, a home loan plus. Then normally, uh, suppose if they out outright purchase, you can give 30 years of repayment period. But uh, earlier, we can we could give uh, repayment period for a housing loan, I mean, home loan plus as uh, 180 months. That is 15 years only. But now, not, that is not the case. We can give 360 months for both. Subject to one condition, in the case of, suppose if you have to permit 360 months for home loan plus, the permitting authority should be will be CGM H O C H. Now coming to another important uh, product of housing loan that is uh, 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 is H L plus applicable for one question I have seen. I'll just go through. Is HL plus applicable for person who availed repair and renovation? Yes, it is applicable. HL plus can be given for uh, those who have uh, taken housing loan for repairs and renovation. It is applicable. Now, housing loan to agriculturist. All agriculturist uh, owning and cultivating agricultural lands of more than five acres of, in the case of irrigated land and 10 acres in the case of dry lands in their name. So, this is one uh, question. That is, in the case of housing loan agriculture, what is the uh, extent of land that should be owned by the agriculturist? Uh, if it is five acres in case of irrigated land and 10 acres in case of dry land. Okay. Now, uh, there is another uh, relaxation in that one. That is, uh, if the agriculture is engaged in dairy farming, poultry farming, plantation crops, uh, horticulture produce, etc., the minimum land holding level, that is 5 acres and 10 acres, need not be applied. Okay, that is one important relaxation here. That is dairy farming. That is, you know, cow, uh, sheep, uh, goat and all, it is there. So, uh, those who have engaged in dairy farming, uh, this land holding does not come into picture. And in the case of poultry, that is eggs, uh, uh, hen and all, uh, it is there. Uh, in, in there also, uh, land holding is not applicable and plantation crops, especially uh, ricanut, uh, uh, plant, uh, this uh, coffee and all, those who have engaged in uh, the rubber and all, the, these are plantation crops. So though, for them also, minimum land holding is not applicable and uh, in the case of horticulture produce also. But there is a condition attached to that. Their minimum gross annual income should be at least 5 lakhs. Okay. But this 5 lakhs category is not applicable in the case of that uh, 5 acres of irrigated land and 10 acres of dry land category. It is only applicable in the case of uh, dairy farming, poultry farming, plantation crops, horticulture produce, etc. Okay. Now, who is entitled to give the uh, income certificate? It is like uh, income certificate is to be issued by Tarsildar or Mandal Revenue Officer or District Revenue Authorities or any competent authority that may be accepted as proof of income for housing loan quantum if income tax returns are not available. You can always ask for income tax returns uh, because in in but the uh, uh, condition there is in income tax returns, they should have shown the agree income. 
if agree income tax returns are not there you can always ask for uh, income certificate which is issued by tahsildar or mandal revenue officer okay now what is the moratorium period uh moratorium period it is slightly different here in the case of uh, agri uh, housing loan agriculture uh, agriculturist the uh, moratorium period is uh, three harvest season in case of yearly installments and two harvest seasons in case of yearly installments what is uh, uh, what does this mean like suppose uh, in the case of housing loan agriculturists they need not repay it on a monthly basis you can always give for uh, eyi that is equated yearly installments okay that is they can always go for uh, yearly repayment if yearly repayment is given then the maximum moratorium period that uh, you can give for construction of land is two harvest seasons that is based on the crop and uh, if you are given half yearly installments you can give a maximum uh, moratorium period of three harvest seasons so this is also a uh, question that can be asked now housing loan to nris coming to this one this is a, at another product that is a housing loan product that is prevalent now uh, housing loan to nri so uh, it is slightly different uh, in from uh, our normal housing loan that we will touch upon now so the minimum age is 21 years and maximum age is like uh, 60 years there is no 75 year concept here it is 21 years and uh, 60 years in the case of housing loan nris uh, one question mc is so, uh, whether housing loan plus is applicable for those who have held under article yes hl plus is applicable for those them also uh, housing loan agriculture also so you can give so uh, coming to housing loan uh, nri uh, the maximum repayment period that we can give is up to 60 years however circle head csc and above authorities can permit repayment period up to 30 years or till the borrower attains the age of 70 years that is a normal cases the repayment period will be up to 60 years but circle head can permit up to 70 years okay provided the circle head is uh, uh, csc is uh, uh, satisfied with the repayment capacity of the borrower now coming to nri status thing that is nri status the applicant should have be should be uh, an nri for at least 3 years then only he is applicable uh, eligible for housing loan to nri scheme now what is the relaxation that is uh, permitted here the relaxation that is permitted uh, here is circle head co cac and above authorities can very selectively permit following relaxation that is minimum abroad of 2 years to 1 year with valid job contract permits and nri status from 3 years to 1 year so in, in a, i will tell you this uh, if at all a customer comes for an nri comes for housing loan you have to see what is his nri status and uh, till how long he, uh, he is there uh, as employed in abroad so his nri status should be minimum 3 years and uh, he should be employed abroad for minimum Two years. That is the uh, concept here. Three and two. However, circle head can change, relax it to one year each. That is employment period to one year and NRI status also to one year, uh, provided uh, their uh, uh, other uh, eligibility criteria satisfied. Okay. And uh, now coming to uh, the maximum loan quantum. Uh, as you already saw in the general housing loan scheme, it is six times. Uh, uh but here it is a uh, four times of annual gross income subject to nth of 40 percentage there the nth was 25 percentage here it is 40 percentage and the maximum loan amount that you can give is four times and uh, uh, rh head and above authorities up to their delegate powers can relax the uh, uh loan quantum up to five years okay that is also one uh, relaxation there so generally speaking the repayment is up to 60 years and nr status is 3 years and uh, uh, this one yes nth is uh, net echo uh, 
uh, uh, the N N NRS status is three years, and uh, employability or employment abroad is two years, and the maximum loan amount is four times with the NTH of forty percentage. Okay. Now coming to uh, uh, relaxations, uh, we already saw. Uh, Yes, uh, repayment up to 70 years can be given instead of 60 years by circle head and uh, NRA status and uh, employment period can be re relaxed up to one year by circle head and uh, number of uh, number of uh, loan quantum calculation is or can also be increased from uh, four times to five times uh, by uh, RH head and above authorities. Okay, so that is about housing loan uh, scheme to NRS. All other uh, guidelines with regard to our uh, repayment holiday, margin, uh, residual life, everything uh, is just like a regular housing loan. Uh, whatever changes are there that I have included here. Now coming to uh, the next important uh, product uh, that is uh, Canada Vehicle Two-Wheeler. Before that, I will, I'm just taking two minutes break. So uh, uh, let us restart. So I can see one question there. Mm. Should the NRA status of the borrower be continuous if any break is there, we can consider. There is a, no guideline such that uh, it should be continuous. Uh, the, it is telling about the NRA status only. Uh, so uh, there is nothing said about uh, break and all because in the case of NRI, uh, we cannot uh, ascertain the continuity like because if they are uh, coming to leave for uh, coming for leave to native, their visa stamping will be like that. So we cannot always tell that it is uh, continuous like that. So there is no such guideline for arriving NTH in housing loan. Whether we need to calculate on average income of three years or latest income of uh, NTH, NTH, uh, it is not based on average, it is based on the last one month. Okay, or last year. Uh, in the case of uh, uh, non salary class, we need to take the last year uh, 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 income and calculate the NTH. And uh, for salaried class, you need to take the uh, last drawn monthly salary. So, PPT uh, shared now. Mm. So coming to Kenra vehicle two wheeler. Okay. Now Kenra vehicle two wheeler. Uh, there also we have a, a lot of questions we can accept uh, expect because uh, there are so many numbers associated with the Kenra vehicle two wheeler. So it is uh, uh, always uh, uh, advisable to uh, go deep into this product Kenra two wheeler. Okay, now so coming to Kendra two wheeler eligibility in the case of salaried class, the minimum gross salary uh, is a uh, one point. Uh, one question it is there for staff housing loan if age is house is more than thirty years, will it be sanctioned? So, sir, actually, uh, staff housing loan is not uh, under our this one. I am not sure about the staff housing loan. 
and if the age of house is more than 30 years uh, i think it can be sanctioned but i am not sure because we are dealing with a regular housing loan the so better you check with the, uh, our staff housing loan manual then you will come to know salaried class so minimum gross salary uh, should be 1.75 lakhs per annum and nth should be 35 percentage of gross salary and non salaried class the annual income is slightly higher that is 2 lakhs uh should should be there uh, and the uh, uh nth is uh, same only 35 percentage uh now coming to this is one important uh, uh point with regard to uh, canara two wheeler so in the case of metro and urban branches the minimum invoice value of the vehicle should be 1 lakh and above below which you cannot sanction that is if your branch is categorized as metro and urban branch you cannot finance a uh, vehicle loan with the invoice value of say 90000 rupees or say 50000 or 75000 rupees the invoice value should be more than 1 lakh okay for semi urban and rural branches there is no minimum limit you can uh, finance for any bike or two wheeler uh, for that matter without insisting for minimum invoice value so this is one question that you can be asked what is the minimum uh non salaried person agriculture person want to two wheeler loan uh, so so there is no separate scheme for uh, agriculture for two wheeler and such now coming to the margin part uh the margin is uh, categorized into four types so each of them you have to uh, select study it is very easy uh existing customers salaried it is starts from 15 percentage uh and new customers salaried it is 20 percentage and in the case of non salaried existing customers it is 25 and new customers it is 35 this is a very common question that has been seen over the years that is margin in the case of canara two wheel lot this you have to buy hard uh, so, so starting from salary rate it is 15 20 25 35 just like that you can that is salary rate existing 15 uh, whether ppt is not visible sir is uh, ppt not uh, visible sir okay so uh now non salaried class the uh, margin is 25 percentage and 35 percentage okay for two wheeler how many years itr uh, see how how many uh, yeah that's better to take the questions at the end of the class okay you can check the uh questions i mean uh, ask the questions in the chat box i will uh, discuss it at the end so uh non salaried class it is like uh, 25 percentage and 35 percentage for existing and new customers uh that is the margin we are dealing about with the margin here okay now the repayment period for maximum is 60 months okay and one more thing with regard to canara two wheeler is that uh, there is no scheme for financing second hand two wheeler in the case of uh, canara two wheeler loan okay canara four wheeler uh, it is uh, uh, yet another important product with regard to retail lending so we will just uh, start with that one so i think everybody is very clear about canara uh, two wheeler it is very simple uh, gross salary is 1.75 for salary and uh, uh net take home 35 percentage and non salary is for 2 lakhs and uh, invoice value should be minimum 1 lakh and above for metro and urban branches and there is no such limit for semi urban and rural branches and the margin is 15 percentage for existing salary 20 percentage of new salary uh, 25 for existing non salary and 35 for, for new salary non salary salaried individuals uh, in the case of canara vehicle four wheeler so we are just uh, going with the uh, going for canara vehicle four wheeler uh, 
salaried individual uh, it is like uh, they should have a minimum salary of 3 lakhs per annum with for, for being eligible for canara four wheeler and nth will be uh, uh, sorry that it is not a uh, five percentage there is a uh, mistake this 25 percentage sorry for the error nth is 25 percentage of gross salary uh, or 12000 uh, per month uh, whichever is higher so uh, non salaried the minimum gross annual income should be 3 lakh per annum uh, as per latest and average should be not less than 2.5 so in the case of salaried individual uh, there is only one condition that their minimum gross salary should be 3 lakh per annum and uh, but in the case of non salaried their as per their latest itr their uh, annual income should be 3 lakhs but you have to see their average for the last 3 years also there also there is a condition that it should be less not less than 2.5 lakhs and nth is same for both that is 25 percentage or 12000 per month whichever is higher so you just uh, have to read it as 25 percentage instead of uh, 5 percentage okay now non salaried uh, coming to pensioners the nth is 50 percentage so if at all a pensioner comes to your branch for a uh, canara vehicle four wheeler the nth should be 50 percentage okay now coming to the uh, uh, margin for canara vehicle four wheeler uh, so it is uh, we are talking about the new vehicle okay not for the uh, already i mean uh, pre owned vehicle it is for new vehicle up to 10 lakhs okay it is 10 percentage the margin is 10 percentage uh, in the case of uh, uh, central government and all other customers it is 10 percentage now coming to loan amount above 10 lakhs and up to 25 lakhs for central state and autonomous body and psu employees the margin is 10 percentage but for other customers it is 15 percentage and above 25 percentage it is uniform across the both the categories that is 20 percentage okay so uh, here uh, a question is always uh, you have to uh, see as i told in the case of canara vehicle two wheeler uh, that um, uh, margin is always important okay so in the case of four wheeler also margin is important that is up to 10 lakh it is 10 percentage for central government and all the categories so you can see that up to 10 lakhs it is a uh, uniform margin of 10 percentage for both the categories and above 25 lakhs also it is uniform that is 20 percentage and 20 percentage only changes between 10 and 25 percent 25 lakhs it is 10 and 15 percentage respectively so this is how margin grows now coming to uh, the remaining guidelines of canara vehicle four wheeler uh, you now it is in the case of pre owned vehicle pre owned vehicle that means already used car used car you can finance the, but the uh, loan amount there is a catch in that uh, the guideline is says that the loan amount should be uh, maximum 60 percentage of the value of the vehicle appraised by the automobile engineer or 60 percentage of the price agreed between the buyer and seller or 60 percentage of the original purchase price of the vehicle whichever is lesser so in the case of uh, canara vehicle already pre owned vehicle you can finance you have to see three categories three guidelines here uh, that is what is the value of the vehicle what is the price agreed between the seller and the buyer and what is the original purchase price of the vehicle and 60 percentage you have to see and whichever is lesser you have to see that much amount you can finance but the maximum loan amount for under canara vehicle four wheeler is 50 lakhs okay pre 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 owned canara vehicle for four wheeler is 50 lakhs but in the case of a new vehicle there is no such guideline of maximum limit okay and another guideline is which is very very important the uh, age of the vehicle should not be more than 3 years okay now 
uh, we already saw the minimum margin is 40 percentage okay now depending upon the loan amount also there is the uh, what is the original purchase price, price? Uh, yes the original purchase price, uh, price means the price uh, when the uh, vehicle was first purchased uh, four wheeler amount for pre owned vehicle uh, it is it is up to 15 lakhs the margin is the what we have told 40 percentage and which can be permitted by respective sanctioning authority suppose if the pre owned vehicle is more than 15 lakh up to 30 lakh the minimum margin is 50 percentage uh, and the sanctioning authority will be region head cac and above authorities and if it is uh, uh, this one uh, uh, above 30 lakhs uh, up to 50 lakhs uh, the circle head and above authorities is the permission permitting authorities and uh, we always say uh, there is always relaxations permitted that we under normal circumstances the normal sanctioning authority is uh, uh, so normal sanctioning authority the maximum loan amount is 5 lakh 50 lakhs but if at all we have to uh, uh, sanction for more than 50 lakhs it, we can always go for EDCSC and the CSE of the board above. Normally, those things are not uh, asked to this sanctioning authority part, but still I have uh, given. Uh, you, what you have to see is you have to see the margin percentage for each loan amount. Up to 15 lakhs, the margin is 40 and 15 to and above that, it is margin is very easy to remember. That is up to 15 lakhs only, minimum margin 40 and above 15 to 30. I mean, about 15 and all, it is always 50 percentage. Okay. Vehicles, uh, now, uh, there is also another important question with regard to pre-owned is that vehicles which are not older than 60 months, I mean, sorry, uh, one month from the date of their purchase or first registration can be treated as new vehicle and same can be financed on the terms and conditions applicable to purchase of brand new vehicles. However, all such cases, our borrower should be the first transferring. See, this uh, happens... Uh, yeah, no, mostly in the case of uh, the demo cars and all. No, uh, in that cases, the vehicles which are not older than one month, that is within within one month of registration, if you are, if the our purchase, I mean our borrower is purchasing, then it can be treated as a fresh vehicle loan, and all the margin requirements and all can be same as that of the uh, regular vehicle loan, and it not need not be treated as a pre-owned vehicle, provided the vehicle is not older than one month. And the maximum repayment period uh, available for pre-owned vehicle is 60 months. Okay, so that's all about uh, Kendra vehicle uh, pre-owned uh, this one. And one more thing, and the next thing is that uh, dealer payment commission. Dealer payment commission, you already know that is uh, uh, it is 1.3 percentage of loan amount subject to a maximum of uh, one lakh and 1,500 for sales executive which can be flexible made with, between or our permissible cap. So uh, uh, yesterday we have seen the uh, car deco thing. That is uh, first time in our bank, our bank has uh, uh, tied up with the corporate vehicle loan DSA. That is uh, uh, car deco. That is Girna Soft Private Limited. Uh, there also the service charge that can be paid was 1.3 percentage of loan amount subject to a maximum of 1 lakh. Here, additionally, if you are giving the commission to car dealer and their executive, the uh, amount of incentive payable is 1.3 percentage subject to a maximum of 1 lakh and 1,500 for sales executive. Now, a report from one CIC for loans up to 5 lakhs. That is, suppose if you are financing for a car loan uh, of up to 5 lakhs, you are uh, required to take CIC from only one CIC. In the case of housing loan, it is what uh, the amount is 10 lakhs. In the case, if you are uh, uh, financing for a housing loan up to 10 lakhs, you need no, you need to take report from any one CIC only. And if it is about 10 lakhs in the case of housing loan, you need to go for two CICs. And if it, in the case of Canara four-wheeler, about 5 lakhs, it is two CIC. And uh, the time norms, the yesterday we had already discussed uh, it is uh, if the sanction is at a branch or RH the camera vehicle needs to be sanctioned within seven days and if it is sanctioned at circle office it is maximum 15 days and sanctions at HO it is two to three weeks okay now coming to yet another important uh, product called a Canada 
green wheels uh, that is uh, very easy only uh, we will just uh, look upon that one uh, canada green wheel is always uh, for four wheeler not for two wheeler uh, two wheeler you can always per, uh, consider it under canada two wheeler scheme but there is no canada uh, green wheel for two wheeler electric vehicles okay so the classification is obviously prime non priority sector the income criteria uh, in the case of uh, non i mean salaried income it is 3 lakhs and in the case of non salaried uh, class it is uh, net annual income or complement should be minimum 4 lakhs so uh, we have seen in the case of uh, general canara uh, vehicle it was 3 lakhs and 3 lakhs but in the case of uh, non salaried class it is 4 lakhs eligibility all individual borrowers professional reputed firms companies and agricultural are eligible uh, this one uh, margin uh, is for uh, up to uh, 25 lakhs the margin is 15 percentage and above 25 lakhs it is 25 percentage with regard to i already told margin is very very important from ex examination point of view that is it is uh, 25 percent sorry 15 percentage for loan amount up to 25 lakhs and 25 percentage for loan amount up to uh, above 25 lakhs and uh, uh, another important uh, uh, aspect here is uh, Mm. Uh, uh, so that's all. That's all about the Kendra vehicle. Uh, basically, loan quantum and uh, the income criteria and the margin. These are the three main cri criteria in the case of Kendra. Yes. Now coming to the next important product that is Kendra vehicle to agriculturist. We have already seen Kendra housing loan to agriculturist. Now uh, it is almost similar. Just two or three points are different that's all rest of the things are very uh, almost similar to kendra housing loan to agriculturist so the minimum land holding is same as that of kendra housing loan that is 5 acres irrigated or 10 acres of dry land now we already saw in the case of housing loan the dairy farming poultry plantation and horticulture minimum land holding was not required but their income had to be minimum 5 lakhs in the case of Uh, housing loan, but in the case of Canara vehicle, it is four lakh. That is the only change. Rest of the guideline is same as that of housing loan to agriculturist. Now, ITR is not mandatory for loans up to ten lakhs. That is another important thing here. Uh, up to ten lakhs, ITR is not mandatory. You can always go with the income certificate. But above ten lakhs, ITR is compulsorily insisted upon. However, if the same is not available, who is the Uh, permitting authority to provide relaxation it is rohe csc so rohe csc is the authority to permit uh, relaxation in obtention of itr that is as per guidelines of kendra vehicle to agriculturist the itr is mandatory for loans above sorry mandatory for loans above 10 lakhs and it is not mandatory for loans up to 10 lakhs but if still itr is not available the same can be permitted by uh rohe csc and above authorities okay now net income we already saw it should be a uh, 40 percentage in the case of regular canara vehicle it is 25 percentage but in the case of uh, agriculture it, it is 40 percentage uh, with a minimum of 1.5 lakhs per annum and cgm uh, circle head coc and above authorities are permitted to relax it from uh, 40 to 25 with a minimum of 1 lakh So these are the guidelines that you need to um, by heart with regard to Canara vehicle. I will just tell once again uh, that is land holding is same. It is five acres of irrigated and ten acres of dry land. Uh, for the in the case of Canara vehicle to agriculturist, it is uh, um, uh, the minimum land holding is need not be apply, uh, applicable in the case of dairy farming, poultry farming, and plantation crops, uh, provided their minimum gross annual income should be four lakhs. Okay, ITR is not mandatory for loans up to ten lakhs. Above ten lakhs, it is mandatory, but RO head CSC and above that is can uh, waive it. And uh, NTH, it is forty percentage subject to a maximum minimum of one point five lakhs. CGM, uh, C, I mean circle head COC and above authorities can permit the relaxation up to twenty five percentage to one lakh. Okay, that is about that margin and all. It is uh, same as that of uh, previous.
uh that uh, we are coming to the margin uh, thing uh, that is up to 10 lakhs the margin is 10 percentage in the case of uh a new uh, existing customer that is 10 15 20 it is the same as that we saw in the other case but only the, in the case of margin of i mean in the case of new customers there is a margin uh change so up to 10 lakhs the margin is 10 percentage above 10 lakh and up to 25 lakh it is 15 percentage and above 15 it is 20 percentage but in the case of margin of new customers it is uh slightly changed uh it is very easy you just need to add 10 percentage to the existing customer so you just need to buy her 10 15 and 20 and just add 10 percentage more to both sides uh, the margin and you will get the margin for new customers okay so and accessories can be financed up to 25000 it is uh, not for agriculture alone it is for everywhere but since i have just shown it in this slide alone uh, but ac accessories can be financed up to 25000 uh, for all the categories so this is also a common question so what is the maximum value of uh, 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 accessories that can be financed under canara vehicle loan scheme it is across all the categories that is canara vehicle uh, green wheel or agriculturist or even normal vehicle now uh, you know, we have come to the last product of the day that is a canara mortgage yesterday we had already discussed this one but still uh, i am uh, uh, discussing this again uh, then we will move to uh, our uh, question answers okay canara mortgage it, it is uh, 50 percentage of the value that is canara mortgage we already saw that maximum loan amount that we can finance is uh, 50 percentage of the market value uh, assessed uh, and in the case of salaried class, <coughs> low and normal, the maximum uh, quantum is 96 times of last grown monthly salary. And it is in the case of uh, non-salaried class, uh, it is eight times of average last three years. Now coming to NPH, it is 35% uh, of 30,000 uh, uh, for both the categories of salaried and non-salaried. As I told yesterday, uh, uh, normal and uh, I mean in the case of medium and higher CRG customers, the loan quantum is slightly lesser. That is one 12 months of less is all there. That is 84 and 7 times instead of 96 and 8 times. But here, uh, one peculiar thing yesterday I also told NTH for low and normal customers is low and normal CRG graded customers. It is 35 percentage or 30 percent 30 thousand. But if it is the medium or high their NTH, they are required to have only lesser NTH, that is 30 percentage and 25,000. And uh, one more important question uh, for, from this topic can be like, Canada mortgage proposal up to 7.5 lakhs can be sanctioned by retail asset B and beyond 7.5 uh, crores, sorry, 7.5 crores, it should be sanctioned by the respective corporate credit wings like MCCW or LCCW. Okay, so with that, uh, we have come to the main thing, uh, end of the main products, uh, the category. I will just take uh, the questions now. Uh, for two-wheeler, how many years of ITR is needed? Okay, two-wheeler, uh, the ITR required is, uh, latest ITR is only insisted upon. But in the case of uh, uh, three wheel, uh, four wheeler, three years of ITR is compulsory. What is the original purchase price of vehicle price at the time of purchase that we have already discussed? Income set, uh, from uh, Tasildar is not see whoever is uh, competent enough to provide the income certificate, it is applicable. How many years of banking with us is required to be considered as existing customer? So it is two years. Uh, if it is uh, for two years, uh, it is normally considered as uh, existing customer. Margin for used four-wheeler that we have already discussed up to 15 lakhs, it is 40 percentage and above 15 lakhs, it is uh, 50 percentage. A 
Any other questions? Uh, Chris, actually, I have a. Uh, I am preparing a questionnaire for this one. Uh, most probably by tomorrow or day after tomorrow, I I will share that uh, uh, PDF uh, questions uh, to uh, Sir, and uh, he, he will be circulating it in the group. Housing loan agree ITR uh, uh, mandatory stipulation is not there, Sir. Uh, actually, in the, only in the case of work loan, the ITR stipulation is there. In the case of uh, agri housing loan, uh, we can, you can always go with the uh, income certificate, irrespective of the loan amount. CAC is a credit approval committee. See, up to branch level only, we have individual sanctioning authority. And above branch level, when you go to RO and above authorities, it is always comprised of a committee of three with a minimum quorum of two. Uh, so the that credit approval committee is known as CAC. Uh, they are responsible or they are the sanctioning authorities. So only up to branch level, we have individual sanctioning authorities. That is the branch manager. And uh, RH also. RH also, the brand, uh, approval authority is uh, individuals. Old car of three years or five years. Old car, the age of the car should be uh, maximum three years only. Uh, but uh, the repayment we can give up to five years. That is the concept. See, we should not actually confuse these things with the staff loans and all. Staff loans, it is entirely different category. Uh, this one. Canara mortgage RH power, uh, I have to see. Uh, it is, uh, I think, uh, 2 crore or something. Uh, see, the powers actually you do not explicitly uh, see uh, for uh, this one. Normally, it, uh, it is asked very, very rarely. Yeah, uh, uh, I will share the uh, file now itself. The PPT I am sharing uh, here in the chat. Yesterday's also I have shared. See, uh, apart from this one, actually uh, we have a uh, uh, touched upon the main uh, this one. See, there are other products also like Canara Cash, uh, this uh, like uh, uh, Canara Budget and all. See, those things are uh, only uh, uh, you always need to remember the uh, margin uh, and, sorry, not margin, the loan quantum. In the case of uh, Canara Budget, you always need to remember only the uh, uh, loan quantum uh, and the service conditions and all. But uh, in the case of housing loan and work loan, there are a lot more with regard to guidelines that the age of the building, the age of the car, all those things. That's why we have taken that particular scheme uh, for a discussion because uh, Canara uh, budget and all, uh, and the pension, uh, personal loans sector, it is all about the loan quantum and the repayment period because margin is not applicable there. Uh, and other securities are not there. So it is it is always desirable that you uh, have a quick glance of Canada budget and the Canada uh, uh, pension schemes uh, uh, with regard to their uh, NTH and loan quantum. Okay. So any other questions? Yesterday's PPT, I have already shared. 
that ppt contained uh, 20 slides oh is it sir now what you have shared as pdf i think that is sufficient yeah yeah, yeah. It, it has got all the all the slides no what about education See? loans yeah, education loans actually due to time constraint only I have uh, not touched that because it <laughs> requires uh, at least uh, two hours to complete that one. If a uh, uh, time is permit uh, permitted, sir, I will prepare a, this one and if any slot is available, we can go for it, sir. Yeah. Because education loan, we have uh, so many schemes within the education loan that we have to cover uh, CSIS, we have to cover... Uh, uh, that Padro uh, Pradesh, uh, Vidya uh, all those things. And uh, within the, because if we take that one, we will not be able to cover within this two hours. That way, that's why we could not uh, chat one. And uh, in the case of uh, used quantum 60 percentage value, whichever is higher or lower, which is always whichever is lower. Okay. It is always whichever is lower. For agri vehicle loan, uh, what income proof can show the customer direct? See, agri, I already shown uh, AEO promote managers or AEO, wherever in which all branches AEO are available, AEOs can give uh, income certificate. If AEO is not there, uh, they, the customer can uh, give uh, income certificate issued by uh, revenue authorities like Tasildar, District Revenue Mental Authority, and all. Any quantum is fixed for two wheeler? No, there is no uh, quantum fixed. Agri dairy milk uh, business customer. See, uh, actually, it is like uh, if they are directly engaged in uh, uh, poultry business, uh, that core poultry business, they can be treated as uh, uh, farm farmers. But if they are into re trading of uh, agri milk business and all, they cannot be treated as agriculturist. They should be treated as business people only. Yes, the recording will be uploaded. Yeah. You will upload tomorrow. Yeah. So, uh, meanwhile, what I will do, sir, I will uh, prepare a PPT for education loan, sir, and I yeah. will share, if uh, you can share with the uh, yeah. uh, people, uh, yes. because uh, taking class will not be feasible with the limited time available. So, I will share. I asked uh, about tomorrow. Tomorrow, we have not planned any class because many people are traveling. Yes, yes. For Diwali. So, uh, already you can see the attendance. It is very poor. So, it is not feasible to have a class without proper attendance. Yes. And uh, it is not wise also. Everybody is uh, in in a festive mood. So, we are not planning any class tomorrow. Even the online test also, I have not told not to, do, uh, not to have on first. So, first will not, that is tomorrow it will not be there. Maybe there will be an online test on first. So, uh, first also we cannot plan. Uh, Mr. Vishnath, I am talking about that only. Day, today and tomorrow. That is tomorrow and day after tomorrow. It is Diwali. And many people are on a vacation going to native place like that. So it is not feasible to conduct. PPT Education loan, share. definitely I will share the PPT. PPT we will definitely share. But uh, if possible, we will have a class, sir. Yeah, yeah. Because education loan, uh, maximum one hour, one hour to one and a half hours you can complete. Yes, yes, yes. It is like uh, we have to cover the subsidy part also. That's why subsidy, uh, as you said, with your Turant and uh, eligibility norms. Yeah, and, and okay, skill, skill quota, loan. merit quota. Yeah, skill loans. Everything skill is there. Loans. So if uh, uh, Kenra green wheel is old, can be financed. No, Kenra green wheel only uh, the old financing is not there actually right now. Uh, uh, there is no separate scheme. 
uh, one month old, you can treat it as a fresh loan and uh, you can give it. Sir, one small suggestion, if you are preparing yeah. question paper, you first yeah. release only question. Yeah. Second day, we will release answer. Sure, sure, sir. Sure. So that they can give a try. Yeah, sure, sure. If you if we give with question, you will not be able to even try. It will yes, be yes, just yes. reading any yeah. other material. We will key, uh, release the key on the next day. Madam PPT, we will definitely share. Don't do it. Sir, EL PPT. If yes, yes, sir. sir I, I, am, I have started preparing, uh, but uh, uh, when I checked, uh, it is going on uh, for long. That's why I didn't include uh, that one. So I thought of uh, giving it as a separate PPT so that they can just go through the important question uh, from uh, examination point of view and they yeah, can what, by what themselves the also. Updation? And the basic uh, scheme. Yes, yes, yes. The latest updations with regard to Vidya Turand and all, it is there. So uh, that I, including that one, I will share a PPT, sir, definitely. Sir, you join CBOA WhatsApp group, sir, WhatsApp channel. There, everything is available. Muthurajesh, please join the CBOA WhatsApp channel. Everything is shared. You don't have to ask anything. Everything is available there. Whether possible to get previous online exam question, uh, don't uh, unnecessarily go in for the law, previous year question paper, madam. There will be a lot of changes. So it is, See, uh, it is to... like uh, always, always nowadays the questions is based on the latest changes and the last one year circulars and all. So no, it is, it is you, always you... better to go for the pre latest question papers and latest materials because yes. you will not know what has been changed. You will be anyway, you will be, there will be a lot of question papers circulating in uh, with different WhatsApp groups during the uh, promotion time. But you always uh, approach those question papers with a pinch of salt. That's what I would suggest. Because don't go with the questions alone. You just have a look at the pattern of the questions and try for answers from your own. Not go by the key. If key is provided, it is like any other material. Yes. If key is not there, at least you will be able to test your uh, knowledge. You are completed, eh? You are. Uh, ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is question. over, sir. So, if it is over, means no further question means we will wind up for the project. Yes. You can uh, let me know when you will be able to prepare, sir. PPT. In sure, the, sir. Sure, sir. In the meanwhile, I will also find uh, some session. Yeah, I I will uh, I will uh, try to give the PPT on education law tomorrow itself, sir. Okay. Yes. Not a very urgent, sir. You give leisurely. Okay. 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 You, because you have to yeah, by, by next week or by Monday or Tuesday, I will give. It is possible by weekend if you give, they will be able to go through. No, that's what, sir. Actually, uh, uh, tomorrow after tomorrow, it is holidays for here. Yeah. Uh, so I will try to finish tomorrow. Itself. Yeah. Possibly you prepare and go. Yeah, yeah, sure. So that they will be able to have the PPT with them. Uh, yeah, yeah, they can, they can uh, prepare by themselves also. Anyway, education loan for studying. Even uh, with the PPT, you may not take more than one hour. Yes. Material will be less when he filters and gives you the message. The material. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. We will call it all the day. best. All yes. the very best for all of you. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Srikutan, for uh, joining CBOA for uh, taking classes beautifully. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We will I'm not an outsider, as you know. In the future also. <laughs> It's not an I'm not joining. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we will use you, your services in future regularly. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good night, friends. I'll wind up the session.